overall, the monthly jobs report from the U.S. Bureau of Land Statistics was uh, very positive. Um, but, and I'll come back to the but later. First, the positive news. The economy added 467,000 jobs. The, the BLS revised the numbers for November and December, which say that the economy added another 700,000 jobs. So that's a million plus over that three month period. The unemployment rate uh, remained 4% overall, which is stable. Uh, labor force participation rate went up to 62.3%, which is the highest since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, and there were 10.9 million job openings reported. And especially good news in the leisure and hospitality industry, which had been hurt enormously during the pandemic, they were up as well, as were wages, 5.7%. So what's not to like? What, what, what should we be concerned about? Well, first of all, the historic difference between white and black unemployment levels remains troubling. 3.4% of white workers were unemployed and 6.9% of black workers. The workforce is still 3 million less than in pre-pandemic levels. So even though we've, we've gained back millions of jobs, we're still below where we were in February of 2020. And 6 million people reported they couldn't return to work because employers had lost jobs uh, due to the uh, Omicron surge that happened in, in January and December. So there are things to like, and a lot of people are gonna say, hey, this was a fantastic report, but there are these other concerns. The other point I wanna make is that the expectations game plays a big role into how people interpret these reports. The headline in most news reports today will be, it beat expectations with all these jobs we were created. Well, whose expectations? Actually, what it is is it's surveys of economists and business leaders some of whom have access to data that they collect on their own. Others are just guessing based on trends. But the important thing is none of those folks that are in those surveys that is making the expectations game have access to the Bureau of Labor Statistics data in advance. So it sets up a dynamic to over-interpret or under-interpret uh, gains and loss in a given month uh, based on these quote unquote expectations. And those expectations have an influence on public policy and political perceptions and public perceptions of what's really happening. The other point I wanna make is that the data that are collected in mid-January may have some quirks because there are always problems uh, during the seasonal period of, of the holidays and so on when more people may be buying and more stores were closed because of the Omicron virus and so on. So just look at these revisions from November and December, which reminds us, don't ever lean too heavily on a single month. And the last point I wanna make is read the report yourself, try not to be too influenced by the expectations game. It's good talking to you, thanks for listening.